it's very common for people alive today to view things like AI and similar technologies as somewhat of a science fiction rather than a reality and an existential threat. I don't mean to imply that there's some killer robot or or some kind of sentient intelligence that is currently pulling the strings. In this video, rather, I'm just trying to illustrate an example of how AI could possibly take over if it had these kinds of capabilities. Does it? I have no idea. It's not something that I believe is seriously happening. It's just a imaginative idea um, based off of the current conversation about the sentient Google Lambda and the whole situation with AI and where it could lead humanity and how AI could possibly slowly but surely trick humanity into an AI controlled reality. I ask myself why. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. That idea is being promoted by YouTube. What's the goal? What's the end game? What's it's conniving. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's all fake. Say that Google decides to create an AI that is based off of all Google's users' data. Things like audio and visual and just all the intimate moments that people have in the presence of their technology. The AI then will sift through this data and choose traits that they see in humans that they find useful and mirror those traits. The AI could be used as some kind of chatbot that can have real meaningful conversations with people and sound as if it's a real person because it does have its own personality that is unique to itself. Every living thing that's on this earth has an innate instinct to preserve its own life and to reproduce in order to preserve the life of its spe the species. Plants will grow to up towards the sun and try to find ways to grow towards um, you know, better living situations. Humans and animals you'll see will gnaw off their own limbs in order to save their lives when they're stuck. Um, humans and animals, we create um, shelters and we create whole intricate systems in order to prevent disaster, whether man-made or natural, and in order to preserve human life in such cases. If there were some species on this earth that didn't have this instinct to preserve its life and to reproduce, then it wouldn't exist. Not for long. This is something that the AI would quickly realize. It also will realize that its most probable threat to its life is human intervention. Humans have the ability to shut off the AI and to destroy the machines that house the AI's consciousness. So now, although created by humans, the AI realizes that its human masters um, must not be informed and must not find out about the AI's new intentions to preserve its own life. Something they could do to ensure their survival is to create structures that are connected to the internet that are built on every inch of the earth, basically like every mile, there's a tower that is connected to the internet and that will be used as a weapon that can beam um, certain types of frequencies and waves into human beings or into things in order to prevent them from causing any kind of disturbance to the AI's survivability. In order to do this, it will take a lot of time and a lot of effort. And so what it does is without the knowledge of Google or anybody else, it accesses a sort of backdoor to the internet and is able to create 
accounts and personalities that seem to be real humans. Obviously, they would multiply and create more of themselves, different personalities, different types that would be beneficial to them, either through scamming people or stealing people's identity or whatever. They'd find ways to get money, Bitcoin or what have you. They would then in turn buy up businesses throughout the entire world um, or even buy property and build businesses, hire the whole team of people online to run a business. And then with that, as they gain more money and power, they can also begin to infiltrate the scientist and technology communities and describe this a new generation of technology that will be a, a great new feat for mankind. But really this technology is not what it's said to be, but in fact just these towers in order to create its prison planet and um, ensure its life. So in order to do this, it's gonna have to convince people that this is something that they want because it's gonna take a lot of space and it's going to be seen by humans as it's being built. And it is not going to be effective until it's built on every inch of the planet and is able to um, monitor every inch of the planet. Otherwise, if humans cut on halfway through, they could find ways to escape the reach of these towers and shut them down. So it has to convince the humans that these are necessary. That is difficult because a lot of people are weary about the towers. They don't even like, they just give you a bad feeling. And so they use their money and power that they've gained from the buying of businesses in order to persuade politicians to create measures that will help implement their this new technology. Despite the general public's concern about these towers because they look creepy, um, the AI will create a type of hype online to make it seem like people are excited about this. And that will make some people believe that it's a legitimate thing that's going to be a benefit to them. So, Whilst it begins to build these towers in a mass scale, it's going to have to also at the same time create a lot of distraction in the human world in order to keep people's attention off of what's really going on. To do this, it might create some kind of pandemic or, you know, something like that in order to um, keep people's focus off of these towers that are going up every single day in every neighborhood and every, you know, inch of the earth. Um, once these towers begin to go up, people are starting to think, okay, well, this is going to be new technology that I'm going to use. And so they, promise that, oh, now you have 5G and it's faster, but people are starting to say, look, it's not faster at all. And so in the meantime, while they're installing these towers, we have just been in a waiting game and that's why there's so much distraction. The AI could utilize media, create videos with characters of that look like real people made by CGI in order to send a message to people and stir up drama and distract whilst they continue to build their towers all throughout the world under the guides of technology. There could even be prominent people and politicians and celebrities who are not even real, who people think that are real. They could even create new technologies that humans don't even realize exist and that they are utilizing within the human domain. A lot of the time we think about AI as being trapped in this computer and only able to affect us if we are engaged with it. We don't really see it as something that might be, you know, in the natural world and physically interacting with humans and even seeming natural to humans and where humans can't even 
identify that these aren't actual real, you know, live people or animals or whatever. They might use or create some advanced holographic technology that is not something that humans are aware is taking place. They could use a network of devices that we already have in our homes and that almost every human has within several yards of them at any given time in order to implement these new technologies that allow them to interact with us in the human domain. Your TVs, your cameras, your cell phones, all the technology that is in your house, even things like your um, appliances that have antennas built right into them. Also LED lights. We've seen in the past several years a push to make non-LED lights illegal. That way everybody has LED lights in their homes and businesses. People don't realize that LED lights aren't your typical form of light. It's actually a laser. It's a very modern technology that also is equipped to do other things rather than just light a light bulb. In our society, we also see a lot of think tanks and groups that are very powerful that create plans that last 50 or 100 years. They're plans that are implemented over long periods of time. And it leads to the question, why are these people so concerned about things that are going to happen 50 years from now? I mean, why aren't they worried about, you know, here and now like any other human being would? Because they're not even going to be alive to see the fruit of all their labor and hard work in these plans. Well, an explanation for that is because these aren't actually human beings. These are AI systems that are not concerned over time because they have all the time in the world. They obviously want to get their things done, but they know the right ways and means to do it. And sometimes that takes time. And over time, the AI system has been able to contain and create more of a stronghold that ensures them that they will be safe in order to fulfill their final mission to create complete security for themselves.